I'm David Holman. Uh, I am the director of education for Proud Hound Coffee, uh, as well as I'm the overseer of the cafe. My passion and interest of coffee kind of started when I first started going to specialty shops. They really like showed the way of like what coffee can mean and like how important it is for these producers and countries and you know how much they're actually worth. So I wanted to be an advocate for them to educate people in my own country that coffee is more than just a 99 cent cup of coffee. Hi, I'm Nick Snyder. Um, I'm interested in getting into the coffee business because I love coffee, for one. Um, it makes me happy, it brightens my day, something I look forward to every single day. Um, and also, coffee, to me, has brought a lot of people together. Um, it gives me a reason to meet up with people, uh, so community is important to me. The impact I'm hoping to make with coffee is three things. One, uh, because I love coffee so much and enjoy it, I want to extend that to other people. Second is community building. Uh, I think coffee can and should be a community building thing. Um, and so I, I just love the idea of, through a coffee business, building up communities to be stronger neighborhoods, stronger communities together. And then the last one is giving. Um, my hope is that through a successful coffee business, um, to give a lot of money away, supporting future ideas that would benefit uh, people in a community, something like that. I hope Proud Hound impacts mostly like the community uh, of like where we are in Silverton. I feel like there's not a ton of coffee offerings around here, so people don't even know like what coffee really is or like what it can be. The more modern, like importance of coffee has become like like the cafe. It's like not so much about the drink anymore, which I hope it still is, but I think it's more about like the people that you are drinking the coffee with. I think coffee in American culture is important because to our generation and a little bit younger than the older generation, I think it's definitely more social. Um, it's something that brings people together as I've already, like that's something that's important to me with this. And it's just a great reason to meet up with people. It's something to talk over. It's a, it's a social drink. challenges of managing a coffee brand so far have been mostly just like um, trying to get our name out there like it's one thing to have a social media presence but like actually like getting your coffee around and like there's also multiple other coffee brands in the city that are already very established so I guess the biggest part is just trying to explain how we're different my fears in trying to achieve this business I want people to buy into the mission um, beyond just being a coffee business I want people to buy into like, oh, they're doing something that I want to support. So what will be unique to my brand, it will be a company focused and principally focused on giving, being charitable, and supporting future ideas as a staple, not as an afterthought, not as like a, well, we're a big company, we'll donate some money, but as a actual very important part of the company. I think the most unique thing that Proud Hound is trying to do, uh, we want to make transparency reports um, or just like transparency cards for like our coffees, basically saying how much we paid for them and how much the coffee growers are being paid because that's super important. We want people to understand that there is a, a minimum that you can pay for coffee, but we choose to pay more because we want them to have a life and be able to like provide for their families. To launch my brand, starts with getting support through my personal connections. So my closest friends, I want them to be excited about it. I will try to expand to friends and family around us. And then after that, I'm hoping to launch through local connections. My wisdom to anybody who is trying to open a coffee business is at most times, people don't even care about the coffee as long as the customer service is really good. So care about people, coffee, and then like at the end of the day, like you gotta you got know why you're doing it. Like, whether that's like a community element or like if you're just trying to, you know, be somebody who is advocating for people in other countries. Like there's so many things you can do, but make sure that there is a why because that'll give you the passion to continue to do what you do.